Welcome to the Original Gangsters podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Big news coming out of Canada. We got a report. Um, it looks like at least uh, officially for now, it appears that the war between the Hells Angels and the Blood Family Mafia has come to an end with the Hells Angels in Quebec informing law enforcement at a meeting last week that they have ceded territory to Blood Family Mafia in both Quebec City and Montreal, and that they are removing the 10% tax on narcotics transactions that uh, initially started a lot of this brouhaha between uh, BFM and the Hells Angels in Quebec City. We know that this is a kind of a part and parcel to the larger war at play here between the Hells Angels in Montreal and the Rizzuto crime family um, with uh, Blood Family Mafia being aligned with the Rizzutos. It looks like, again, if we're going to believe what's being told to us, that this is a huge win for ice pick Termel, David Termel, the 28 year old fugitive right now, the leader of the Blood Family Mafia, one of the most enigmatic, fearless crime lords the uh, I would say the whole continent of North America has ever seen the, the brass balls on this guy um, to do what he has done. Now, if he'll survive it, that's a whole different story. But uh, his legacy has been cemented. Um, it, it looks like not only did he go to war with the Hells Angels, he won. And and I and I again, I, I said if if all that is being said right now, if if everything the way it looks stays, and the reason I say that is if if people have been tracking this and our reporting here at, at OG Pod and at the Gangster Report, our, our web magazine, back in the early spring, the Hells Angels in Quebec City met with law enforcement and informed them that the war was over back then. And it lasted another, you know, eight to to 10 months uh and you've had some real tragic consequences and collateral damage in the last two months uh with the uh murder of of, of two people two young young people a 14 year old and a seven year old and the burning of a 19 year old um you know this has reached a level of you know, public consumption sphere uh, that, you know, if you're a combatant in this, that, that's worst case scenario. You want to be doing all this stuff and maybe it's being reported a little bit here or there, but it isn't when innocent seven-year-old girls that are on vacation from France die in fire bombs, fire bombings and, and 14 year old and 19 year old pawns in this war uh, are being moved around a chessboard and eventually being killed and burned. It, it puts an impetus uh, behind the powers that be to get a hold of it. So it's definitely, you know, the events surrounding this particular war within a war uh, since, you know, Labor Day, things have you know, hostilities have increased, the temperature has risen, innocent people have, have been killed, and uh, it, it, it seemed like it was only a matter of time until we got some movement forward in whatever direction that, that it was going. And in this, in this sense, uh, it appears that, uh, that it's over, that that part is over. Now, I think it's important to say that I don't believe in any way, shape or form that the 
the over the larger overarching war between the Rizzuto mob and the Hells Angels is not over. And this looks like on paper a big win for Ice Pick Termel, who has been overseas now for 18 months, um, gallivanting around Europe and North Africa, uh, allegedly uh, being hidden and financed and supported by the Rizzutos. But whatever you're, whatever the, what the Hells Angels are telling the SQ or the RCMP or Quebec, uh, Quebec City Police, Montreal Police, there's no way that bygones are bygones or water under the bridge in terms of ice pick Tremel. You know, the organization, Blood Family Mafia, might be putting the brakes on some things because they've apparently achieved some major goals in in um, in fighting this war. But I have a hard time believing, in fact, I would, you know, push back harshly on the notion that all is forgiven for him. Um, you got a quarter million dollars uh, reward out. Uh, RCMP SQ has, has, you know, quarter million looking for him, uh, information that leads to his arrest. You have the Hells Angels, allegedly, at least before this, this announcement of a peace treaty, half, a, you know, offering a half million dollars on, on Tremel's head, um, you know, open contract, whoever, whoever kills him can collect the money. Tremel, we learned, uh, uh, we're, we're six, seven minutes into this. I want to give shout out to a uh, journal de Montreal who, who broke this news and, uh, they were out in front of, of the, the announcement of the peace treaty. And I want to also talk a little bit about some one, at least one small piece uh, or two small pieces of, of noteworthy minutia. Um, one coming from Journal de Montreal and another coming from the Dirty News, the great true crime blog out of Canada. So first, um, Termel, this whole war started back in spring of 2023. We knew that uh, Termel had found a, you know, a, a, a bomb underneath his SUV and then responded by shooting up uh, Matt Pelletier's house went and made an align uh, an alliance with 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 Leo Rizzuto via an intermediary that they both knew um according to journal de montreal ice pick termel besides aggressively pushing back on this 10 this traditional 10% tax uh on, on drug sales uh, in Quebec City and consolidating all the street gangs in Quebec City underneath the, the BFM banner to, to push back on the Hells Angels. Um, Journal de Montreal says that Ice Pick Tremel hijacked a cocaine shipment that the Hells Angels were owners of and that the hijacking of the drugs is what led to the, the bomb being put underneath his car, which led to him shooting up uh, Pelletier's house. So that that's an interesting piece of housekeeping. And then um, I know that Dirty News had this. There might have been some other French Canadian uh, media outlets that had this. We have an we have an identification now on the 14 year old boy that was found uh, a, a, in the eastern part of Quebec in Frampton. Uh, believe that he was killed in a Red Devils motorcycle club house. Uh, Red Devils are a support club of the Hells Angels. And uh, he's being identified now as Mohamed Yanis uh, Seguhani. And 14 years old, he is allegedly connected to the Arab Power crew. If people have been following our coverage, and I know it's really confusing because if it's confusing for me, I'm sure it's confusing for the audience. More uh, 
more players have entered the game. There are there are uh, more names to know. You got to adjust that scorecard. But uh, Air Power, we've we've learned more about them in the last couple months. They are like they're the bounty hunters. They're the hired guns um, who aren't really a, a, aligned with the Hell's Angels or the Rizzuto mob or the Blood Family Mafia. They go where the money is. Uh, they'll do hits. They'll do arsons for either side. And uh, they've been tied to uh, murders on both sides of this conflict, dating, you know, to, dating to 2019, precursors to what exploded in, in 22 and 23. So Mohammed Yanis Sekhani, Seguhani, who was murdered back in September when he was dispatched to... Uh, with a with a uh, automatic weapon and a gas can uh, by allegedly by blood family mafia by Arab power uh, according to our sources uh, ice pick Tremel was texting an encrypted text texting into the meeting where this 14 year old was assigned to, to do this he was caught and then again allegedly murdered um, so we were able to identify him and uh, we don't have a, a name on the on the 19-year-old. We're still looking for that. But uh, it, as of right now, according to the Hells Angels, who met with law enforcement in Canada uh, in these last couple of days, they are, I, I don't want to say throwing up the white flag, uh, but it could be perceived as such because they're giving more than they're getting here. But that's that's the news right now. Uh, I'm sure there will be more to report when it comes to Hell's Angels and Rizzuto Mob. But in terms of Blood Family Mafia and the Hell's Angels, for right now, as we approach uh, the end of November 2024, it looks like that war is done, at least for now. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. OG Pod bringing you. The latest breaking underworld news across North America, uncovering the underworld, one city, one region, one country at a time. I'm Scott Bernstein. I'm out.